Well, I know, in the modern age of our YouTube channel, have not done many live videos. However, extenuating circumstances permitted me to do this for you because uh, car troubles, just the schedule with, uh, with Chris and doing the videography, and then the summer, and then the weekend. So a lot of things came together and we couldn't do a fully produced top five video but we're doing this as a live, somewhat scripted, because I do have notes. So I took notes just so that I can speak intelligibly about all of the products that you'll see here. And so that we can move it along and, you know, not be here for an hour while I just go and yammer on. So to start off things, as I usually do, a uh, quick disclaimer. Uh, these top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com. This isn't a personal top five list or a greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. So, as we continue, if you guys have any questions while you watch this live, feel free to comment them. I will be checking. Uh, so if you guys have, you know, I'm, I'm just looking at to see if the options with the uh, the chat and whatnot, but if you guys want to chat it up, talk about the pens that are being shown, or ask any questions about the pens, please feel free. Oh, Shafiq is the first one. Hi, Shafiq. Thank you for chatting. Let me know that it works and that you can actually hear me. So at our number five spot, we have a highly unusual brand that we're not used to seeing on the top five, but there's special reasons why this pen would uh, arrive on a top five. And it also has to do with some other circumstances as well that pro prohibited other pens from making this five spot, uh, of which I want to mention as an honorable mention. I want to mention the Leonardo Supernova that we saw last month on the top five list. That has completely sold out. That could have made the five spot here too. Uh, and then there was the Monte Grappa Elmo O2 in the Marshmallow which was a huge, it was a very good candidate for this list, but unfortunately all of them are gone. They're gone completely. So uh, I saw, oh, I can't see the old, oh, okay, there, Chance. Chance is a big fan of the channel. I just wanted to say hi to Chance. All right, so we have that, uh, that, that chat's working, we're good. So let's talk about the first pen on our list, which is the Parker Sonnet 70th Anniversary Queen's Jubilee Fountain Pen. I'm going to try to hold this so I can get it to, you know, see it clearly here. And it seems to like this particular spot in the camera. So this is a very, very beautiful Parker Sonnet. Very unusual for uh, the Parker Sonnet brand in that it's not just a standard lacquer type of pen. It's got some really fancy engraving on the cap there. And why is that engraved in the way that it is? It's because... It is to commemorate the 70th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth uh, ascending the throne. So 2022 marks that anniversary, and she is the first, first British monarch to reach this milestone. So Parker being that they have a, a royal warrant, uh, that Parker has made pens for uh, the British monarchy, that they, um, they go all out for this. So they want to design something special for this uh, commemorative event. So the Queen's Jubilee has a barrel that's lacquered in sapphire blue with an engraved cap that's made from palladium coated 925 sterling silver. So palladium coated meaning that I don't anticipate the sterling silver to tarnish on it. Uh, so this is going to have a really nice mirror finish and it should stay that way without any tarnishing. I know some people like tarnishing, but you know, for this sort of thing with the beautiful engraving and everything, I don't think you want it to really show the patina so much. So the, uh, the barrel itself is inspired by the precious stones of St. Edward's and Imperial State Crowns, uh, which together with the uh, engraved uh, cap design gives this pen a distinctly royal feel. So with the Fountain pen. Let's see if I can get that up here. Ooh, I can't really see like a good, a zoom up on that. Can we zoom up? Oh, we can't zoom up. All right. Um, so you can see detailed pictures on 
the Gold Spot Pens website if you want to take a look at what this nib looks like. It's a two-tone uh, special design stamp, and I might have to just re, maybe I'll just switch the camera to like a detailed, uh, to the forward camera, um, just to be able to see what that looks like. But it's got a really nice 18 karat gold two-tone nib, and it includes a converter to start with. Has a nice uh, brushed tapered grip section that's here. It's a snap cap. It's got some nice gold trim on it as well. Uh, so including with this pen, it's, it's boxed in this nice Parker gift box. And it's got some information here too about the, uh, the fact that it was imp uh, appointed by the queen. Um, to, well, at one point or another to manufacture Parker products. It includes the special booklet and two ink cartridges in here too. So there's the, the booklet that's inside there. I apologize, this is getting pretty uncomfortably warm in this building and unfortunately it does not have, the AC does not reach over here. So I'm going to uh, be sparkling or glistening the entire time and uh, I apologize for that. So, uh, it does include cartridge to converter. So since this is a special edition made of sterling silver, um, they are a bit more dearly priced. I'm, I'm kind of being a little bit modest about a bit because it is like pretty dearly priced over the original uh, Sonic collection, which you could usually get for around like $100 for a stainless steel nib. This edition, since it has the 18 karat gold nib, sterling silver cap engraved special edition for the Queen's Jubilee. Um, these actually start off uh, at $413 for the ballpoint, for the fountain pen, we're looking at $637.70, of course, which you could find the sale prices on goldspot.com. So check them out. Your fifth pen of the top five, the number five spot, the Parker Sonnet 70th Queen's Jubilee fountain pen. So, whew, it's getting warm. All right, so you're gonna see me melt into a puddle by the end of this, uh, the end of this recording, probably. Uh, so we have next on our list is the Sailor Pro Gear Checkmate Knight to E4. Now this was a surprise too, I think, because um, ordinarily with the Sailor North American exclusives, we do see like some fairly good activity uh, in terms of uh, some awesome pens that they come out with. But I mean, there's a lot of North American exclusives and they also, incurred a very high price increase last year, um, which I think people are still trying to get used to. Uh, it is pretty expensive for, for some of these 21K Sailor uh, Pro Gears nowadays. It's not just like collecting them, oh, yeah, every single edition that comes out, you have to be a little bit more selective, but people chose this. I think really, uh, it, it kind of gets in on that same thing that the Queen's Gambit did, where I think people are really interested in into chess. Uh, and and love uh, you know the the really the the fun aspect of this pen because of that. Um, so it does have a and it's really hard to capture this because it is it is a very very dark material that's on here. But I'm hoping that maybe it might be able to come across is that the material has a kind of like a very dark gray pearlescent uh, design on it. So. It is, it's somewhat translucent. I wouldn't say it's very translucent. It's probably most opaque, but maybe you might be able to see some translucency through the cap. Uh, but the material is is very like dark and swirly. So it's it's got some swirls on it that you might be able to faintly see, especially if you shine a light on it. But in most lights, it may just appear to be a dark charcoal gray. And then on the very top, you have that rook, right? Or no, it's a knight. It's a knight, the little horse. The horse is a knight, I think, right? I'm, I'm not a chess player, so I apologize. Um, but what's really cool is that with this edition, you have a weighted metal grip section. So normally you would see on other Sailor Pro Gears just the standard resin grip section, same type of resin that you would see throughout the rest of the pen. But with this one, it's got the weighted metal grip section, which does add a little bit more weight to the forward end of the pen uh, then you would post it like so so it's got like some some good balance to it and it it has and it has of course the 
Sailor 21 karat gold nib, of which this is the newer design that just has the anchor, no mention of Sailor 1911 or any of that little detail that would appear underneath it. And it's also the newer type of anchor that you would find on Sailor packaging, which uh, speaking of, I do have the Sailor packaging on it. Uh, so this actually is numbered, which I'm just trying to see if that actually has the number on here too. Yeah. No, it does not have the number on the pen, unless I'm not seeing it. Uh, but it does have the number on the packaging. So this is the Sailor Knight to E4. It's a standard Sailor box, and like I mentioned, it's got the new Sailor logo that's on here. So you open it up, you got the little baggie it comes in, platform, open it up, you got the warranty, plus the converter and cartridges and instruction manual. So. Uh, it's a fairly normal uh, Sailor gift box, but what's special about it is that you've got this uh, sleeve that was made for it. So, check whether the number is inside the pen. So let's take a look and see if the number is inside. I don't see it. But then again, it could be somewhere lurking that I'm not finding. I love Sailor Pro Gears. They're a very fun pen design, uh, a very formal looking, traditional, uh, strong tapered lines. Uh, the, the size posted in the regular is, is very, very comfortable for my hand. Uh, and I have, I'd say probably like average size guys' hands, I suppose. Uh, but just it, it, they come in so many different colors and this one is like just super like demure, elegant, uh, and, and has like a lot of richness about it. I feel, especially with that metal grip section, it looks really cool. Uh, so let's see if I'm just catching up my notes here. It's a limited edition of 500 pieces. As you saw on the box here, this is number 54 of 500. It uh, is available in extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, zoom, or music nibs. And uh, it is available at goldspot.com. The retail price is $575 and is on sale for $468. So that is the number four pen of June's top five. Moving right along, because it's getting really hot here. This is the Pelican Suvran M605, which actually slipped one spot to the number three spot. And uh, we talked about this in last month's top five video, like I mentioned. It is uh, a follow-up to the turquoise white, white pink, white transparent, tur uh, tortoise shell white, and green white is the is a just basically a, a simple com a concept that a lot of uh, uh, the other pen manufacturers have had to actually try to replicate this, and one of them, Sylvan, has done this with the 325 collection, is that you just take a very simple uh, white resin cap section, blind cap, and then you pair it with a very beautiful acrylic or very colorful barrel. So this is really the, the accent of the whole pen. This is the eye-catching aspect of it, is this uh, beautifully colored barrel that's here. So the 605 and five meaning for the silver trims, the palladium silver trims, as opposed to if it ended in a zero, it would be gold trims, which I think taking into consideration the color of the cellulose acetate wouldn't look right to me. I think that they did a good job with pairing them with this pen with the silver trim. Uh, so the screw off cap reveals a 14 karat gold proprietary Pelican nib available in extra fine, fine, medium or broad nib sizes. It's um, a uh, screw off type nib. So as I screw this off, you hear like a little mouse squeaking. So this nib is very easy to screw on and off so that if you wanted to, you could then try to maintenance the pen from the forward end without having to remove the piston mechanism. So if you have a little bit of uh, ink stains or, or some just inky, a uh, mess that just doesn't want to come out, you just have some shimmer particles in there, you could try to clean the pen from the forward part here. So uh, this month, 
Uh, we did discuss Pelican in our guide to piston filler fountain pens. And uh, out of all the mechanisms that were invented during the start of the 20th century, uh, the golden age of fountain pens, the Theodore Kovacs piston mechanism, of which Pelican had purchased the patent for uh, back in the 1920s, stands to be one of the most prevalent internal piston mechanisms on the market today. It has stood the test of time, and we had recommended in that video that Pelican is the original and tried and true. They've had decades, better part of a century, to really perfect this piston mechanism, of which works exceptionally well. So. It just is a very smooth pis uh, piston mechanism and, uh, you know, really requires very, very low maintenance. I think there's an article on the Pelican's Perch, which Josh is a major big time Pelican collector. Uh, he's based in the Philadelphia area. We actually met with him at one of the uh, uh, Pelican hubs he hosted in Philly, and uh, he has a massive collection of Pelican pens. Asked him about uh, the cleaning or the maintenance of the Pel Pelican piston mechanism. And he has an article on his website where you could see what he does to uh, be able to grease the, the mechanism should it need any sort of uh, maintenance to help the uh, functioning of the piston mechanism. So uh, always very reliable and their writing experience is very unique being that they use uh, the proprietary Pelican nibs on their uh, pens. Uh, they tend to be a bit more smoother, pliable, and bolder, laying down a thicker line than most other European style nibs. Uh, so keep that in mind when you do shop for a Pelican fountain pen that usually they are a bit broader, uh, even more so than let's say Yovo or Bach nibs. So they, they tend to run a bit more broader than that. So, but they're very, very satisfying to write with, smooth, and like I said, like give you a little bit of bouncy. I wouldn't say flex, but I just would say a bit bouncier than usual. Um, so in that video, I did, uh, and hey, thank you for uh, for purchasing the Kaveco Supra Arctech. Um, the uh, so the I did recommend in the video the Pelican Classic N two hundred or N two hundred five. So that's a steel nib, and it's a lower entry level price point than let's say the six hundred five would be. Uh, however, the six hundred five's got a fourteen karat gold nib, so it's got a smoother more pliable feel to the page than even the stainless steel would. So being that this was on sale for 50% off, I would say that this is a really great starting point being that it does have a very comfortable posting size. Maybe compare it with the sailor here. So if I were to compare two of them side by side like so, see if I could do that. Pelican 605 is actually just a hair longer than the Pro Gear regular. It is not, it is probably a little bit thinner. I would say maybe a little bit lighter too. Yeah, I feel like a little bit lighter than the Pro Gear regular. So it is a great starting point, I think, if gold nibs are what you're all about. If you want a nice, smooth gold nib, this is a great starting point. Um, you know, especially since this is one of those editions that I've mentioned this quite a, a bit is that Pelican tends to, when they run to the very last of their edition, uh, offer that edition at a closeout price. So that's why Pelican 605, even though it is last year's model, shows up on our top five this month and last month because we were able to then offer it to our customers at a better discount than the usual price that you would find them for on Goldspot. So at 50% off the original MSRP, you're getting a world-class fountain pen that you're buying for life at a great discount. So um, it's still currently being sold at $360 with free shipping on goldspot.com. That's your number three pen of this month. So, all right, now for number two. I didn't mention the packaging. I don't know, should I mention the packaging for the Pelican? You know what? We'll. We'll, we'll go past that. I think you might have seen it on last month's deal. Uh, so you can always find that. So this number two is the Tangle Garden. It is the uh, it is the first winner, which Sandy H is our first winner of the Design Your Own Retro 51 Art Contest. So this was a design submitted by Sandy 
and has come to life in a Retro 51 rollerball. So it's a beautiful Zentangle inspired design and it received the most votes out of six finalists and over 80 total entries from pen enthusiasts worldwide. So our artists, designers, anybody that knew the design contest was going on submitted their designs and out of that, there was a voting where people got to see, you know, all the designs and Sandy's was the best one. And I really love it. I think it's it's got a lot of whimsical charm, which is a hallmark of Retro 51 products. And uh, and it just like, has a, such a beautifully intricate design too. So it's very artistic, um, very, I think it's very joyous. I could just imagine Sandy as she's designing these things in a state of mental like peace and just happiness while doing something like this. So uh, just reading my, my notes here. So actually, so it's actually Sandy is a certified Zentangle te teacher since 2012. So maybe she had, might have a little bit of an unfair advantage in her ability to create something like this because she's been practicing it for a while, but then again, artists practice, you know, their art. So, um, she, her art, her Zentangle art has been featured in several published books. Uh, you know, so she wanted to create a cheerful design that would make people smile when they saw it. I think definitely did an awesome job with it. This is also the packaging also carries the same artwork on here. Uh, so the illustration wraps around the tapered body of the tornado pen and then is bordered then by glossy uh, black trims and a glossy black clip. And uh, this is a limited edition of 500 pieces of which the edition number is lasered on the top ring. And then you've got an abstract design of a snail at the very top here. And uh, a beautiful overall. And then also the white parts on here, if we charge them in the light, will glow in the dark when we get nice and dark. Which I, maybe, you can, maybe you could do that. No, I can't. No, I can't really show it to you, sorry. Um, so this refills and basically like any other Retro 51 rollerball pen that we've shown here on the channel with the Ref 5P uh, black capless rollerball refill cartridge of which is installed in most retro uh, rollerball pens. And then you could also swap that out. You could purchase them separately or swap it out. You can swap it out for a Ref uh, 77 or 71, which is the Easy Flow 9000 ballpoint refill, or also Retro has introduced several other colors of their uh, rollerball refill, green and red. And also there's a blue option, which has always been available. So, uh, and then also we have hacks that you could find on our uh, Goldspot YouTube channel, of which you could then see how to refill that refill cartridge with fountain pen ink. So that's always a fun one that people like looking at. Uh, so each one of these, Tangled Gardens come in a pen tube, come over to pen tube that acts as a pen holder. So you can leave this as a pen stand on your desk when you're not using your Tangled Garden. And we are limiting this to two pens per household, so they are still available. So it's not like one of those instantaneous sellouts, which is great because it gives people more opportunities to buy them. So this could be a you know pen that you might gift later on in the year if you'd like. Uh, or whatever. It's just for, for fun. It's for hanging out and, uh, and doodling and enjoying yourself. So this pen is your number two at, uh, actually there are, they are, five, uh, I'm sorry, they are $50 and 50 cents each. And this is your number two pen of June, 2022. So let's put that aside. And now we will get to our number one. At number one, I know that most of you can probably guess if you follow Gold Spot, if you follow us during the month of June, you receive our email newsletters, you follow us on social, I'm guessing that you know which pen is going to make our number one spot because they tend to make number one when we release them. And that is the Narwhal Peter Draws Ocean Limited Edition Fountain Pen. And this is the fourth collaboration with YouTube artist and celebrity Peter Draws. I call him celebrity because he's got nearly a million followers, which I mean like 
let's just say like that's probably the amount of people that watch one of those really obscure cable channels. So, you know, you figure a nationwide or he's got like a worldwide influence of people who love his art and watching his videos and watching him do art. And Peter had gotten into reviewing fountain pens, had people sending him fountain pens and we had hooked up with him a while back, maybe like I'd say about better part of like two years ago and just said, hey, you know what would be really cool is if you had your own pen. Because I think you would get a lot of people really interested in trying a fountain pen if you were the one that introduced them to writing with a fountain pen. So that's what this project is all about, is really is encapsulating Peter's, like his, his artistic style and his love for fountain pens and putting it into your hands. So what's really cool about this, I mean, not only just the pen, pen's pretty cool too, it's made out of acrylic. It's got some awesome swirls on it. It's a demonstrator, so you could see the ink sloshing around the barrel. And you can move this internal piston mechanism up and down. You can see the piston going up and down, which is pretty cool. Uh, but what's also cool is that you get a commemorative gift box that has Peter's artwork on the box. So this is a unique design that he made especially for the ocean blue and each design that he's produced has been unique so no two peter pens even though this is a fourth fourth edition fourth signature um edition actually i'm sorry it's the third signature edition because the first one wasn't did not include signature cards but this is the third one that actually includes a matching artwork card that has his real deal signature on it he went through and signed all of these cards because he loves his fans so much and because we asked him to because we thought it was going to be cool to do that so um awesome peter awesome job and sometimes he would do like little drawings on each of them as well i th think very few of them had like a little special drawing on there but um that's part of the whole experience of this design is that you get a little piece of peter um, which he calls like his grand babies so uh yes and peter is also a hot dog chef i i nearly fell off my chair when i saw his video which i'll actually link to at the end of this video i nearly fell off my chair when i saw him putting ketchup on one of these pens uh, at the start of his introduction introduction to this video uh to this pen uh it was very very funny so um yeah we did feature this as well during our discussion of piston fill fountain pens earlier this month in a video so you can also check that on our channel uh, because it has a it has a couple of unique characteristics first of all it is a pen built i'd say for it's it does impress with its colorfulness and its style um but it's also built for people who are starting out in fountain pens or starting out in piston fill fountain pens more specifically because it's very easy to use and you get to see what's going on when you fill the pen uh, and it's and it's just, it writes very nicely right out of the box. So very no fuss type of pen and included with each of the pens, should you need it, which I'm trying to pull out right now, is a little metal wrench that you would then be able to use. And I have instructions on the YouTube channel here uh, to be able to remove the piston mechanism. So I always say this every single time that I talk about any wrenches or any taking apart of the pen is to make sure that you do it with good reason. And what good reason would you need to take apart your pen? You take apart your pen when you've got some really stubborn ink, like just stuck to the walls, shimmer inks, whatever is not just coming out with standard flushing, and you need to get it out, that's fine. You could take it apart then. Or if you see how I'm turning the piston mechanism here, and the piston mechanism is just really stubborn, doesn't want to move up and down. It's just giving you so much headaches and so much trouble trying to do it. That's when you'd want to take it apart, silicone grease the piston head that's here, and then put it back together. But otherwise, just normal flushing and cleaning is fine. This has got a removable nib unit as well as the Pelican did. So you could then take, which this requires a little bit more torque to remove it so you could take apart unscrew the nib unit which is threaded so you can see this has got threads on there it's got a couple of o-rings so it's got the o-ring at the top and bottom just to protect 
uh, for in, get, in case of any possible leakage. And you've got a nice opening that's here so that you have nice clearance to be able to reach in, let's say a Q-tip or a rolled up paper towel and get in if there's some additional ink or water residue that's in there that you, you know, would normally would feel inclined to open up the piston mechanism, but instead you could reach, you know, from the forward end. So um, you have that option available to you with this particular pen. So I did mention the stainless steel number six nib. It's made in-house by Narwhal, and it's available in this edition in fine, medium, or 1.1 millimeter stub, of which the mon the the 1.1 millimeter stub is already sold out and the fine and medium are closely chasing after it. So thank you, Christopher. Just ordered the top two. Yes, awesome, thank you. That is great. I appreciate that because if you order them and you say that this influenced you somehow, that means I could keep doing more YouTube videos. I don't have to be doing other work. I could be here doing YouTube videos and playing with pens for you guys, so. I would appreciate that. I appreciate it very much. Oh, and on top of that for this edition, because we can't just have just a regular pen, right? So we gotta keep upping the ante with these Peter Draws Peter Pens. I know some people are a little bit, let's say, you know, they're a little tired of just, oh, hey, it's an acrylic swirly pen. You know, okay, he picked a different color. whoop de doo I get it. All right, next one, I promise, is going to really just be something very different that will excite and intrigue you. So, but with this edition, we couldn't just leave it at just a pen. So we reached out to our friends, or my friend Mark at Rickshaw for a complete lineup of Rickshaw Bagworks pen cases, sleeves, and this is a deluxe pen roll that you see here that match the design you see here of Peter's artwork. So this is a commemorative matching deluxe pen roll that you could put your Peter pens in. And I'm just sliding that in there. I can maybe even slide, I could slide the rest of the pens in there. So let me just do that for demonstration purposes as well. So I'm just popping in the other top five pens in this awesome deluxe pen roll. Uh, what I have? Oh, it's too bad I didn't have, it's too bad I didn't have a sixth pen in here because then I would have put that in there too. So these are, these are really cool because they allow you to take your pens with you wherever you may go. And it's very fashionable, very stylish. And this material that they use for the inside is just unbelievably soft. It is just so soft. It makes your pens, I, I, fe I feel how my pens, I, I try to imagine how my pens feel like in a case like this. I can't, I can't comprehend just how comfortable, how snug they must feel in that beautiful, like it's kind of like that Lucky Rabbit's fur. It's like a polyester plush, they call it. And here you go. You could just wrap up all your pens and take it with you. And you could tighten this by pulling, by pressing down on this little part here and then pulling here. So then you can make it nice and tight so your pens definitely will not be going out anywhere. They'll be staying in this roll. So not only is a pen roll available, we also have, uh, we have sleeves. So we have a one pen sleeve, we have a two pen sleeve, three pen sleeve, I think. No, we have koozies, we have the koozies. So then there's also a koozie case that fits the koozie sleeves. And then we have rolls like this. So lots of lots of different options uh, for pen cases. So even if you don't, even if let's say you've collected all of the Peter pens you've ever wanted to collect, you could get a piece of Peter through these cases. So, oh, and I did want to mention as like kind of another honorable mention, uh, which I had the pen box out here, with the number two of the Tangled Garden, I would also put as like a 2A, this awesome Retro 51 Winnie the Pooh set. And I'm really regretting the fact that I didn't mention this. I feel like I'm going out of order. This is killing me. It's killing me I'm going out of order right now. So, 
but this, uh, but this I would have mentioned as a two way because this was a special edition um, that surprised me, surprised everybody in the office as how well it was gonna do. And uh, this is a limited edition of 926 pieces. This is a five, five, yes, five or four? No, it's four. This is a four pen set. Yes, right, okay. I'm getting my facts straight here. So there's three pens and a mechanical pencil. And uh, I'm not opening this because this actually has to go out. Uh, we had just received our last shipment of these and uh, I don't want to break the seal uh, because it's very important that, especially if this is being collected, that this maintains its super newness. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they did an awesome job with this. They, this is not, and I can't really say too, too much about it because I don't want to get in the realm of getting retro in trouble with trademark and because they they've avoided the mouse let's just say they've avoided the mouse in producing this limited edition so they used the original book material for this pen nothing that came out of any mouse activity went into this um so the the, the so we do not need to pay homage to the mouse in this edition. So, uh, but it's really cool because it does uh, bring everybody back to the original storybook, the original illustrations that were in it. And uh, and like I said, limited edition. So this is one of those that quickly come and go. I didn't really expect it to be that popular, but hey, you know, what do I know? So, um, but that was, I was 2A, the number one Peter Penn of uh, the number one pen of June 2022 is the Peter Pen. It's available for $60 currently on the website. Like I mentioned, they are running a little low and I would probably expect it still to remain on the list somewhere in July, um, but, uh, but I think that it's not going to last much longer than, Jul than July would be. And then you also have the matching rickshaw pen cases of which you could find. I think those are starting around like the I want to say like $19 for a solo pen sleeve. Just don't quote me on that specifically here. Um, oop. All right. So we're going to finish it up with the finale. So there you have it, pen pals. I made it and I did not turn into a puddle. This is the top five pens of June 2022. Uh, which is your favorite pen of this month's selection? Let us know in the comments below or put it in the chat. Um, so... Just to quickly talk about July and August. July and August are the slow months of the season, of the year, I'd say. Uh, not really much activity when it comes to new releases or special editions and things like that. Most pen companies tend to then look forward to the fall, particularly the fourth quarter, like let's say October, Fountain Pen Day. It's a big, big day where you could expect new releases to come. However, we are expecting new pens from such illustrious brands as Sailor, Leonardo Ficina Italiana, Waldman, Diplomat. Actually, the Waldman I saw on the desk in shipping today. So keep appeal, keep an eye for that one. Uh, and then also Retro 51. So if you want to find out what pens that I'm talking about that are coming up on the horizon, go to our Goldspot website, go to the Sneak Peek collection that's under the specials menu in the top menu bar. So yes, thank you Chance. And uh, and I don't, Sal might watch one of these. He doesn't tend to watch the full video, especially since this one will be about 40 minutes long. So, um, but I'll tell him that you said, you know, what you said there. So if, uh, so if you wanna be up to date on what is coming in, go and check out the sneak peek, put your email in for the in-stock notifications so that way when they do arrive, you'll get emailed and you'll know that they came in. One of the pen, one of the pens actually that just recently came into stock again after a long back order was the Narwhal Nautilus in Cephalopod Black and in the Bronze Corridoras. And people who have had their emails in had gotten emails as soon as inventory hit our system, I think it was like last night. So this morning, seeing the orders, people started to order Bronze Corridoras and Cephalopod Black. So. It works. It's, it lets you know immediately when things come in. You don't have to call us and ask all the time. You don't have to send messages to us. You just like wait for that email. We'll let you know. So 
Thanks to everyone who stuck around during this live feed of this month's top five video. If you're looking for more fine writing, uh, wait, if you're looking for more fine writing fun related to this month's top five video, check out our Sailor nib comparison guide where we look at every single Sailor nib size from extra fine through zoom. And then you could also see Peter's introduction to the fourth Peter pen design in this video here. Subscribe to the Gold Spot Pens channel to keep in touch about all the latest and greatest in fine writing. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care. If I could just end this thing, where, where we go? There we go.